Hi, my name is Milana and I'm a holistic fitness coach and the founder of More Than Fitness. I have a doctoral education in clinical psychology as well as an extensive continued education in nutrition and various aspects of fitness. Right now during COVID-19, a typical workday for me is full of virtual and remote fitness training, as well as mindset and nutrition coaching via video calls. Additionally, a lot of time is spent on social media and email marketing. Outside of work, I'm working on a puzzle, I'm working out, I'm rollerblading, I am taking remote singing lessons, learning to play piano, doing lots of cooking, just all the things to take care of myself and my my mental health and my physical health all together. And one of the most important things that I teach in my work is that physical and mental health are completely integrated. See, I struggled with my health and fitness as well as my mental health for the entirety of my teen years and well into my mid twenties. I had therapy on and off and I'd hired my very first personal trainer while I was in graduate school. And what I learned through all of that together is that fitness has the power to transform your entire life, not just your body. An intentional fitness process can help heal trauma, anxiety, depression, and other a whole slew of mental health challenges, as well as many chronic conditions and pain. And of course, there's always the um, weight loss and athletic benefits to fitness as well. It's hard to really recommend a specific workout because fitness truly is individual. However, my best advice is to work a program that incorporates primarily functional training. Functional exercises are those that are directly translatable into everyday living and moving. And the biggest and best nutritional advice I could give in this short video is practice mindfulness. Practice paying attention to how foods make you feel. If they make you feel energized and vibrant, eat more of those foods more often. If something makes you feel bloated, sluggish, or just kind of like crap, uh, eat less of those foods and or don't eat them at all. Practice eating slowly enough so that when you, you can notice that you're full and not stuffed, but full, right? And also practice paying attention to your body throughout the day to know when you are hungry so that you're not um, sitting down to eat when you're starving. And my advice for anyone wanting to start their own business about something that they're passionate about is do it. Just do it. And be prepared for the tremendous amount of mindset and inner work that comes with being an entrepreneur. Also, tap into your feminine strength and intuition and the incredible way the female brain works to help you along your journey. And the biggest, most important piece, do not lose touch with yourself and what gift you have set out to give the world through your unique skills, talents, and abilities. Remain authentic and you will inevitably find success. Good luck, ladies.